So let me see the jump box. Charlie said we don't have time for for setup. We just you know, or the vines indication it's been here a while. That's so for the people that say, oh, I just had it running last week or whatever. There you go. No. I would I pull that I can't out. Tell you. It's That's been a great couple one. Years. Or three. Yeah, time watches on. It does. It so you were you were running the grader and the uh the steering broke. And the steering broke and this is where it ended up at. Yeah. We'll get around to it. Let's see if I can get some parts for it. This one another twelve volt or twenty four? Okay. Uh where's our dipstick at? The other side? This is it right above the fuel filter, right? Or the oil? Okay. You got all on it? Oh, it's got right where it needs to be, too, I think. All right. I'm going to get the cat put back on. Hold on. We just checked the important stuff, right? Oh. I need to mess with the jump box a little bit. I think something sparked down here on the starter. Oh, did it? Yeah. All those tight. Is that supposed to be Might like be that? Might be water in there. I don't know. Let's see. <clears throat> Is that supposed to be like that? It's supposed to be a plug in there, isn't it? You want me to hold one? That thing's heavy. Best thing I ever bought, though. You have one? No. You need to. Since you love Napa. Is that where you got it from? Yeah, absolutely. It's like 400 and some bucks. I've never put it on anything. Not started. But it won't spark like that though. If you, you know, sometimes you're hooking up jumper cables. Yeah. It'll be sparking and arcing like that. Well, if you hook, if you put that on afterwards. Yeah. So. Yeah, let's take it out of gear. This was the only grader you had for a while, wasn't it? Those lines look like they could bust at any given time, so I'm gonna stand back. Does it articulate? <laughs> and we're going to bust the haze. <laughs> you might be able to... The steering box or something broke on it.
This one doesn't articulate, does it? No. I'm trying to. I think it's. I think it's broke up in here. Let me take that cover off. And see, I, I think the gear up in there is broke. But it could be down here. But you can't. I mean, you can't get parts on it at all. So is it pretty much out of commission now? Well, either that or i got to come up with some other kind of steering box. Or yeah. There's another old grader that's got a blowed up motor that's got a, like a hydraulic kind of a steering system. I thought about putting it on. Yeah. But it pretty much started right up. It fired right up. Pulled it from the weed. Now what motor's in here? 471 Detroit is turbocharged. I got a couple of these. That other grader over there. I don't know if it'll start, but let's get the jump box. Where is it at? <laughs> it's right here. Are, are we doing? We're on a roll. Are we on a roll? We just we just wanted to move the loader. Next thing I know, we've, we're pushing trucks and moving graders, and why not? We're here, right? I don't know what it's got in it, but it's uh, been they're, pretty they're impressive. So we're three for three. Well, no, two for two. We didn't need it for the dozy. And, and now you're getting antsy. So I've known there you. Wasn't, there was a battery in there. Huh? Somebody decided they wanted the battery worse than I did. So I've known you for at least 15 years. And this this is set right here. The, the entire time I know you. What happened? Do we need to plug it straight to the? Yeah, let's put it right straight to the starter. Hold on. Got to do a little clearing here. Hold on. Huber great. Huber. <clears throat> oh, Hank would be proud of us. You, you know who Hank is? Hank. Uh, what's his channel? Hamiltonville Farms. Why does he's, he have a Huber? No, no, they do a lot of uh, stuff like this. Starting old things. If I had more time, I'd love to do stuff like this too. But you and I don't have a lot of time. Well, you know, maybe, maybe things will slow down a little bit. We'll rescue all this stuff from the weeds. Drive it on a little way to take, take it to the scrapyard? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, what were your plans for it? Uh, who knows? Ow, briars. I, I just, I mean, I can remember how hard it was to make the money to buy this stuff back in the day, 20-something years ago. I gave $3,800 for this thing, and I believe I borrowed the money. Did you ever use it? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, that was my main grader. For okay. So was it running when parked? We should probably take the oil in it. Yeah. Yeah, it was. It was running when parked. <clears throat> I'm going above and beyond. I don't want to blow up a motor and something. It's touching the stick, so that's that's always a good indication. Make sure it's out of gear. I'm standing between the tires here. You remember? Oh, briars. So it could be idle or wide open, huh? Well, that'll be exciting. We need a little tap tap. Is it acting like it's doing anything? I don't see any belts moving. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, something flew out and hit me right directly in the head.
had no gloves. can sit so long and then start up. So how do the controls work in here? So right and left side of the blade Cross lift, cross shift, um, wheel lean, draw bar shift, um, torque and turn. That's the river. Does this still work? Right there. Yep. Look at that. On the other side of the blade. You just don't have a clutch. No, it's it's got a hydraulic clutch and it's um bruised or something. Yeah, there's there's nothing there. No. Oh. And the throttle was broke. Just the little things. Yeah. It runs good though. Oh yeah, no. Yeah. I mean there's no smoke or hardly anything. No, it right. fired right. I couldn't believe it. And I've known you at least 15 years, maybe more. We so I had this I think out there in the pit one time years ago and somebody made the comment I cranked it out and ran it wide open. I used to use it out there to blade up in the pit. I bet it starts right back up. <laughs> I probably should. A friend of mine that I've known since he did, some company he worked for had one just like it. Didn't know what was wrong with it somewhere in Tennessee. He said it was mine if I wanted to come get it. I probably should go get it for my I don't want to use it for. I mean, that cat and that John. You already have one at the or, pit, right? I mean, they're, they're great around here. This is. <clears throat> the motor's blown up in that one, isn't it? Yes. I, I got that one. The motor blowed up. So that one's definitely not going to start, right? Yeah. Yep. Oh, I'm telling you, they've ate me up. Yeah, as soon as you it it spun over, something was in the fan, and it come out and hit me right directly in the forehead. <laughs> like an acre. Or something? I think it was. I was like, well, it was worth it. It's coming alive. So there's the loader, the other grader, and then this. What uh, what would fix the clutch though? Um. Is so that it's the got a little master cylinder up there. Just take it apart, clean it, put it back together. I've got so some the rubber it... piston in the clutch. Yeah. Back here that activates it. And uh, I've got a box of them in there. You've got to put it in right there and bleed it. Yeah. And because um, when I ran it, I had to, I, I knew the things that went wrong with it. You had to keep it running. I was uh, scared when you were over there with the, the other grader. Uh, as soon as you pressed up against the tree, all those hydraulic lines looked like that right there, and I was just waiting for a face full of oil to come out. So the clutch on that one was stuck too. I was it? Gear and it, it um, and then it just started going. That was one I brought for scrap. I was, I had another motor like this I was going to put in there, and then I, I bought that cat grader. And it's hard to go back. And then I bought that John Deere. <laughs> And then, you know, it, it's really hard to come run the uh, that 872. I mean, these are fun to play around with out here on the property and you stuff. Can't but you can't fine grade. You don't want, yeah, no, I. Your cylinder's still holding decent. 
Yeah, you know that. I mean, I I, I I smoothed out a lot of stuff with that. I didn't say I graded a lot, but I smoothed out. You've a lot moved of some stuff. dirt with, it, is what you're saying? Back when I used to clear lots, I would take this thing and roll across it one way, and roll across it another, and roll all the sticks and roots out, and pack the stump holes in. And I mean, again, that was thirty-seven hundred dollars, and I had to borrow the money back in about nineteen ninety-seven. Uh huh. You know? Hey, but it got it done, though, didn't it? I mean, I used to charge $75 an hour to run it, and I mean, you know, I fed myself and made payments off of running it. Well, Charlie, it's been fun as always. It's been real when it's been fun, but it ain't been real fun. <laughs> it's what? It's been real when it's been fun, but it ain't real, been real fun. Yeah, right. All right. Till next time, it'll be sitting right there.